Kill Students Gymnasium. Marv Albert and the Fight Doctor, Ferdy Pacheco. And the crowd booing Roy Jones of the United States as he enters the ring to face Evgeny Zaitsev of the Soviet Union. Jones advancing by stopping uh, Tendere Makalaba of Malawi in the first round and then winning on points over Mikol Franek of Czechoslovakia, while Zaitsev with the victory on points and a stoppage in the second round. The winner will go to the semifinals, to the final four, and this, the first Soviet-United States matchup in Olympic boxing during the course of this competition and the first time they've met in the Olympics since back in Montreal in 1976. Remember, uh, the United States was not on hand in Moscow in 1980. Soviet Union not in Los Angeles in 84. The last time there was a Soviet-U.S. boxing matchup in the Olympics, Michael Spinks against Rufat Ruskiev for the gold back in 1976. And this is a superb matchup. These are two good boxers, and they both can bang. We've seen some battles over the last few days, and this shapes up as going to be one of the better of all the matchups. Two tough guys. Sight set the southpaw in the white trunks. Jones, the 19-year-old from Pensacola, and the blue. Roy Jones, the youngest member of the U.S. Olympic boxing team, and has looked very impressive. These guys are trading very, very hard leather. They're not trying to score punch. They're trying to score knockouts. They're not trying to score points. And we have seen that throughout the competition with both the Soviets and the United States. Hard left hand by Zaitsev. Zaitsev, a lefty, may be creating a little confusion in Jones. He's not landing as solidly as is Zaitsev. Although Zaitsev already has some blood on his nose, that jab of Jones has been zinging right on the nose. In fact, according to Counterpunch, Jones has been going great guns. He's averaged 107 punches per round in his prior bout against Franek of Czechoslovakia. And in his first bout, Makalamba did not land a single punch. That a first-round knockout. Good uh, counter by Zaitsev after Jones landed. Well, Zaitsev is getting zinged right now by Jones, but he always comes back with something hard. This is shaping up as a very even first round and a tough first round who wins this round to be dictating the contest for the next two rounds Ooh, nice oh nice right hand in and blood is flowing from the nose of Zaitsev that strong right hand by Jones and a spurt of blood came out he seems to have found the target and he's going to it too much Jones just going with it one after the other Just under a half minute left in this first round. Roy Jones of the United States in the blue. And Evgeny Zaitsev of the Soviet Union in the white trunks. Again, Jones scores. He's come on very well in the uh, latter stage of this opening round and has taken the play away. Oh, beautiful combination by Jones. He is getting cocky. When it comes to doing business, the right hand that found the target right on the nose set the pace of this round. That just changed it around. And after that, Jones, inspired by what he was doing, got into a Muhammad Ali, Sugar Ray Leonard flurry where he did a dance with his feet and came in with both hands flailing. It was a thing of beauty. And Jones outlanded Zaitsev 18 to 14. His success uh, coming late. In the first round, Roy Jones, a two-time National Golden Gloves champion at 147 pounds and then moved up in weight to 156. So he'd have two weight class options for the Olympic trials and then settled in at 156. This is the light middleweight division. Jones in the blue, Zeit 7, the Soviet Union in the white. Referee is Mohammed Ati of Egypt. And I see having an easy time with punchers. They're not in there brawling. They're not holding each other. They're just punching cleanly. 
Jones cannot afford to get careless yet. He has to carry the momentum they built up in that first round. And Jones scoring. Holds that left hand down very low. That's uh, the sign of, of the cockiness you mentioned. What we have been observing in this excellent field of Soviet boxers is that the Soviets changed their style of fighting over the last two years, went out and recruited punchers. Instead of these straight up and down Olympic style boxers, we have seen the Soviets dominate their opponents by superior punching power. Well, repairs to the nose of Zaitsev of the Soviet Union also gives the referee Ati an opportunity to check out uh, the damage. Well, the damage is unquestionably there, and that's why what you just saw, that right hand coming in and landing right on the nose. Again, oh, big right hand to the chin of Zaitsev. And again, he doubles and triples up on the right hand, putting on a clinic. And again, a check of that bloody nose of Evgeny Zaitsev with a minute and 45 remaining in the second round. And Roy Jones is cooking. He is having fun. He is all over the place. He's moving. He's given a motion. His speed of the punches are bewildering the Soviet, who doesn't seem to know what to do. But remember, this guy can punch. Zaitsev has a heavy punch. And the doctor allowing the bout to continue after checking out the nose of Zaitsev. <laughs> Fighter determined to come in and land that one good shot that'll turn this around. Now Zaitsev finding the range as we come up on a minute left in the second round. Marv Albert with the fight doctor, Ferdy Pacheco. The winner here will go to the semifinal. Jones piling up such a lead that now he has to call on his, all his guile and defensive skills. Oh, those punches are low. And a caution for the low blow against Zaitsev. Right hand continues to get in on Zaitsev. Jones very careless right now, just playing with him. It looks like Sugar Ray Leonard and Duran all of a sudden, just playing with him, standing in front of him, saying, try to hit me. Zaitsev has that heavy punch and has been uh, loading up on the left hand. Jones cannot get careless. He's got to keep moving, giving him all those angles and all that motion. That was a scoring right hand. Final seconds. Second round. We'll be back after these words. This NBC Sports presentation of the Games of the 24th Olympiad is brought to you by Gatorade Thirst Quencher. Gatorade is thirst aid for that deep down body thirst. Uh, Get yourself for it, Jones. <laughs> Another good round for Roy Jones, the 19-year-old from Pensacola, Florida. Outlanding Zaitsev 29-15. Kenny Adams, though, the United States head coach, uh, telling Jones, don't get careless, also said... Uh, Zaitsev is coming out, looking to get dirty, and uh, don't load yourself into thinking you've got the victory. Well, that's what we saw in the second round. Zaitsev punched very hard to the body, but he did not mind going low. And going low, while it gets you a warning, still takes the legs out from under Jones, because it hurts. Just underway, round three. Roy Jones in the blue. Evgeny Zaitsev of the Soviet Union in the white. First Soviet United States Olympic boxing matchup since back in 1976. And Zaitsev coming on and the crowd responding. No question, most of this crowd rooting for the uh, Soviet boxer against the American. Ati very slow, very slow to break him up. All of that is to Jones's advantage. He wants to see this round fly by. He's ahead. All he has to do is maintain a even evenness in this round, and he should have this fight won. Crowd 
responding, although that appeared to be blocked by Jones, who again has the left hand down low. The Soviet body punches are very strong, designed to get Jones's legs out from under him, and they have done it. Jones has blinked a few times as those shots are really hard right in the solar plexus. Minute 25 remaining in this third round, and uh, Jones again showing the overconfidence, and that could cost. Once again, Jones with that left hand down low and just challenging uh, Zaitsev. Jones with both hands down low, and what he's saying is, I've got the reflexes that are so fast, you can't hit me, and I'm going to hit you before you get off. And that's what he proved in about four of those little traps that he set for Zaitsev. Those traps work as long as the right hand hits Zaitsev, but if he misses it like he just did, he's open to a counterpunch. Under a minute left, in the bout. Jones showing a little signs of weariness. He's getting a little lazy. Zeitz uh, carrying this round. Remember, it's the total amount of points over the three rounds. The caution on Jones for holding. Very few cautions in this bout. We're down to 25 seconds remaining. Zeitz's face is a mess. It's all swollen. His headgear is coming down over his eyes. He's bleeding from his nose profusely. He looks like he's hit, been hit by a bus. Jones eluding Zaitsev and then called for a caution. Called for a hold as this third and final round comes to an end. Well, Roy Jones appeared to have won the first two, Zaitsev the third, but we'll have to see what uh, the, uh, the total show will be back with the decision. Crowd responding in negative fashion to Roy Jones. Stay with us. First Soviet-U.S. matchup in Olympic boxing since this, 1976, when Michael Spinks won the gold in Montreal. Back to the present as we check out the third round counterpunch and Jones with the slight edge in terms of punches landed over the Soviet opponent. And uh, the overall look has Jones in front. These are the roundhouse rights that have got that nose bleeding so profusely. Zaitsev didn't seem to know how to block him, and he got hit by him continuously all through the third round. And we're getting set uh, for the uh, decision. Point five zero in the red corner, Roy Jones. Well, unanimous decision for Roy Jones, the 19 year old from Pensacola, Florida. And there's his dad, that's Roy Sr., one time professional boxer, in fact, faced Marvin Hagler back in 1977, about that was stopped uh, in the third round when Roy Sr. was cut. And now he has seen his son move on to the light middleweight semi-final where he will go up against Richard Woodhall of Great Britain. A very impressive performance by Roy Jones in defeating the Soviet Evgeny Zaitsev.